So now that you found the perfect costume, it's time to find you the perfect fit. We're going to go through a series of measurements today, so begin by making sure you're wearing form-fitting clothing. Also grab hold of a flexible measuring tape, but you can also use a string and then just bump that string up against a ruler to find the number. Now not all the costumes that we carry will actually require every measurement that I'm going to go through, but it's a really good idea to have those on hand so that when you're ready to order, you're able to find the perfect costume and the perfect fit. So let's get started. So I'm going to measure my partner today and we're going to start with the chest measurement and it's a good idea to have a buddy to help you make these measurements. On a man here, what we're going to want to do is make sure we get the broadest, um, we want to make sure we get the broadest expansion of the chest and of the back. So what we'll do is take the tape measure here around the body and find the broadest areas of both chest and back. Just go ahead and pull that measuring tape, not too tight, not too loose, nice and firm together to get the appropriate chest measurement. We're going to go ahead and move down to the waist measurement next. So what I'll do is have my partner put hands on hips and to find the natural waistline in a man, a, a neat little trick is to just move a little bit side to side. And this will show me kind of where the bend is of the individual's waistline. Perfect. I know it's a little bit higher than his hands because his hands are on his hips. So now that I know where the natural waistline is, I'll just go ahead and take my tape measure, wrap it around. On the average population on a man here, we will find this measurement right around the belly button. But using that trick is helpful, just in case it's a little above or a little below. Let's go ahead and drop down to the hip measurement, which again is really easy to find because if your partner goes ahead and puts hands on hips, all you have to do is replace thumb and forefinger with tape measure. Pull that around and now you find the perfect measurement at the hip level. Great. So moving on, we're going to actually show you three specific measurements for the torso. So I'll have you go ahead and turn to the side and have you bend your, your head forward here. And I'm going to feel just a tiny protrusion from the spine and this is going to be the top of our torso measurement. So as you turn to the back of the room, let's go ahead and get started on these three torso uh, measurements. So we'll find that protrusion here, usually about in line with top of shoulders, maybe a little above, maybe a little bit below, but just go ahead and feel around for that protrusion. You're going to first draw the tape measure down to where that natural waistline is that we found earlier. And that will be your first torso measurement. The second torso measurement will be just a little bit lower at those hips. And I'm going to have my partner put hands right back on hips so that I can use my tape measure and find the perfect measurement by aligning it to his thumbs. The last torso measurement will be a little bit lower and it's actually going to come down to where the top of the inseam is. The top of the inseam will be where the fabric meets between the individual's legs on their pants. So the third and final torso measurement is from nape of neck all the way down to the top of inseam. All right, last measurement, and this will actually be the inseam itself. So we're going to take the top of the measuring tape and I'll let my partner put that right where the top of the inseam is, again where that fabric meets. And I'm going to draw the tape measure down on the inside of the individual's leg right to the top of the ankle bone. This is a really important measurement for those costumes that are one piece. So top of the inseam down to the top of the ankle bone. We have the perfect inseam measurement. So now that we have all of our measurements, we're bound to find the perfect fit. And you can do so yourself by comparing the numbers you've just jotted down to those size charts that we have available. Size charts are available on almost every product detail page on the website, so you'll be all set, ready for Halloween and beyond. Hope this helps and have a great day.